You know, Be Quiet sent me a whole box of their newish pure wings in white. And I was like, what am I gonna do with these? I mean, they're a PC fan, they're Be Quiet. It's the same as their black ones, like epic levels of performance. And I decided it's hot. It's hot as balls where I live, and it's about to get even hotter. This week is projected to get up to nearly 110 degrees Fahrenheit. That's this much in the rest of the world units. So I figured I'm gonna make myself the most expensive and most overkill personal cooler a person could possibly make. Thanks to Be Quiet. Cable Mod's new Stealth Sense technology effectively eliminates the need for sense wires for your 40 series GPU. Stealth Sense features a hidden bridge which signals the GPU that a full 600 watts is available, all without the need for fragile sense wires that can easily be dislodged, leading to a black screen and 100% fans. To see the full spec list and power supply supported, follow the link in the description below. Not only is today's video sponsored by Be Quiet and the Pure Wings 3 fans in white, uh, it's also sponsored by jcsense.com. So we've got quite a few new gaming mat designs up there with more to come. Those are pretty much ready to be shipped to you. Um, they're ready now. And also the brand new Jace 2 Sense Discord community. So go to discord.gg slash Jace 2 Sense and you can go up there and share your builds, give video feedback ideas, make video requests, um, talk directly with me, chat with other people about games and computer builds and water cooling and ideas, cars, it's all up there. And if you're a member here on YouTube, you get access to members only channels that are available on Discord and you get direct uh, communication between myself and the rest of my team. Uh, when it comes to tech and stuff. So you get some extra perks there. The same thing exists if you're a uh, subscriber on Twitch. So you get a little bit of a bonus there, but not required. Everything else there is absolutely free. So head over to the Discord. Something I've wanted to do for a long time where we can all sort of hang out and have a non-toxic environment and uh, just enjoy our enthusiasm for PC and stupid things like I'm about to do today. Obviously, I have more than enough to get the job done. So. Anyway, uh, so these are the 120 Silent Wings 4, which are very, very popular. They have the corners that come off and they're interchangeable with a different shape, depending on whether or not they're going on radiators or in a case fan or a case themselves. Got them in 120s, got them in 140s. There's like standard speeds and there's high speeds. They're all here. I'm thinking because of the fact that I tend to run a little overclocked myself. Actually, I think it's just the load <laughs> that my, my body's under. Um, I was gonna go with the 140s. But unfortunately, the brackets I had Nick print, um, I didn't think about having him do 140s as well. So these are all 120 supported and orange because be quiet, why not? And then I even chose stainless steel case screws because pretty. I regret dumping these on the table now. So let me just reorganize this. So taking inventory here, I have nine of the high speeds and six of the not high speeds. So what's the difference in RPM? 2100 RPM versus 1600 RPM. So these brackets are designed to basically just kind of like one fan, one fan, one fan, one fan, one fan, one fan. So six fans per one of these. So I could do 18 fans with just this alone. And then we got these stands on the bottom because they need a way to stand up, right? So we got those. Nick made all these, by the way. Nick, did you just find these online or did you shape them up and stuff? No, I found them online. Okay, Nick found them online. He made the search <laughs> for them. <laughs> and then the print. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and then he executed the printer to do the printing of the things. <laughs> okay, so I think what I should do right now is I should start with the high speeds. And yes, I realize this is a really un necessary stupid video. I'm actually sweating a little bit right now. It is super hot today. So I kind of want to get this going. Oh, and then how am I going to power it? An SF 600 watt power supply with a few fan splitters. Like I said, this is absolutely positively the most efficient use of funds to create a little personal cooling fan. Graceful unboxings. Wow.
It looks ridiculous. <laughs> especially this part sticking up. It's like Mickey Mouse ears. <laughs> um, okay, so we had to reinforce it because we realized, one, the height. The moment any air moves, it's just going to blow itself over. So what we use down here that I screwed into the bottom is just a uh, CD tray, or a CD, CPU tray for Intel CPUs that we ended up reprinting with a solid bottom so the pins weren't exposed or the pads weren't exposed on the bottom. So I just screwed that in there, as you can see. So that way it now has all this leverage. It's going to probably be wobbly as hell when it's on, but it... Ooh. <laughs> I should have centered it maybe, but we decided we'll give it full fulcrum stability. And what it really needs is like two struts, like triangulation right here. But you know, this is a JC Sense video. We're not gonna do anything the right way. And then the wiring, I was saying like, we should just like 3D printed a box to throw all the wiring in and then just has a one power cable coming out of it. So this is gonna hook up to the power supply. And the second I turn the power supply on, it should just go full speed. Although this fan splitter is a PWM. Without a PWM signal, it should honestly just um, go, <laughs> to be honest. Okay, so the J Cooler Offer 5000. Ah, I'm dropping everything. Let's see. Oh. I was, I was brought a power supply with no power jumper. <laughs> Thanks, Nick! What? There's no power jumper on the power supply. It's actually a lot of air. Holy cow. This is very comfortable, actually. How do I demonstrate the airflow of this? I don't know. <laughs> Toro! Toro! <laughs> wow. You come over here! <laughs> Leave the camera going! <laughs> wow, dude, that's nuts. It's like a box fan. I bet you could hit Nick from here. Like, I think Nick would actually feel the air- <laughs> <laughs> Ah, ah, ah! Did it suck it up? It's such a big circle. Ah, yeah. <laughs> so you go that way with it. Wait a minute. <laughs> Who needs a side panel when you got all this? All right, so we're gonna do the smoke test anyway. There's a lot of crap on our table because we're moving studios, so. All right, here we go. Let's let it build up smoke first. Dude, it's blowing all the way to that side, though. That, that's the thing, that you can see that it's... Dude. You, yeah, you're down at that low angle, look at that. <laughs> see the distance? Dude. It's like a smoke like, cannon. Because you can see it going into the distance, mm -hmm. yeah? Yeah, it is. It's like a smoke cannon. Oh, dude. Yeah, it's like there's a box fan pointing at me all the way over here. <laughs> We're fine. Yeah, I can feel it all the way out here. And it's not the AC. It feels very nice. It really does kind of make me wish I had two of these like on my desk, <laughs> just pointing at me. Especially during live streaming sessions where it's all hot in my office. But we actually learned something today. I, I was not expecting to actually learn anything today. The top fans, which by the way, you can see they stop faster than the rest. Let me show you that real quick. Um, the high speed fans also have extra blades versus, the, I think two extra blades versus the normal speed fans. But watch when I turn them off. Obviously, because of the extra RPM, the high speeds have, the top ones stop sooner. This one is a free-flowing fan, look at that. This one obviously was like the lighter bearing of the rest. But we realized that the top fans were kind of useless because when looking at the smoke, the, the top fans couldn't even get any because the, the nine on the bottom were just like, no, mine, and they were like, mine, 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 on everything. So the top fans had hardly any smoke going through them. They were turning, but they definitely were getting kind of starved of air because the ones on the bottom were definitely overpowering the amount of air that could go through the top. So I want to do some calculations real quick. Um, this is over $300 worth of fans, plus the power supply, plus the cable splitter, plus the 3D printer cost to be able to 3D print this. Um, we're probably, tools aside, with the power supply and stuff, this is like a $400 fan. I mean, very efficient use. But uh, if there was ever a way to really demonstrate the amount of airflow that there is with these Be Quiet Pure Wings in white. Also, too, what is our total CFM? I should add all this up. Okay, so looking at the total airflow, um, the high speed, nine of them have 59.6 CFM each, and then we have 49.9. Actually, they're pretty close. They're only 10 CFM difference between the two. Anyway, 49.9 times three for 686 CFM. We're approaching like the amount of air that an intake on an engine swallows. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's kind of insane. Uh, okay, what's also insane is the fact that I did this. It was a stupid idea I had, and we did it. And now I'm going to figure out how to pretty this up and maybe actually use this on my desk. I don't know. But I needed a way to kind of showcase these fans, and then that's what I came up with. So clearly an efficient use of time and effort today. Okay, so time to get on out of here. Also too, like I said at the start of this video, new gaming mat designs are up on the website now, j2sense.com. Uh, there's three or four different designs available now. And our official j2sense Discord is now up. So you can go to discord.gg slash j2sense. And we've got all sorts of channels in there. We guys can do video suggestion ideas, give video feedback, just chat with people about your tech, um, get answers questions, share your builds, share your passion for games and all that. It's all up there. Um, also to those extra member perks, if you're a member here on YouTube, you get access to a members only channel. Um, you also get access to direct Ask Jay type stuff where I'll respond to your questions and you also get priority comments here on YouTube as well as anyone that's also su subscribed on Twitch gets that same perk. So there you go guys, thanks for watching and as always, we'll see you in the next one.